The automotive industry has seen a lot of changes in recent years. More and more robots are replacing workers on the assembly line. And it isn't just cars and trucks coming off the line anymore. Today's Hot Wheels are sport utility vehicles and vans. In the plant's body shop, they begin by putting together the front structure of the van. It's made up of the radiator support, two side rails, and clips on the front of those side rails for the bumper structure. Then they put this front structure onto the automated production line. Meanwhile, robots weld what's known as the ladder assembly. It's the backbone that supports the floor and sides of the van. It contains, among other things, the pockets that will hold the seats. Now the robots take the front end structure and the ladder assembly and weld them together. Elsewhere, robots work on the body panel for the passenger side of the van. The entire panel is made of one piece of galvanized steel. The robots weld reinforcements onto the panel so they can later attach interior finishing and other components. A transfer device swoops down and transfers the panel to the next station. The driver's side body panel, coming off another welding line, is headed there too. next station, robots have already installed an underbody with a floor panel on top of the ladder assembly unit we saw earlier. Now the robots weld the body side panels to the underbody. They also weld inner wheel wells to the body side panels. Then they weld on a roof. The van then rolls into the area of the body shop called closures. That's where they install the lift gate, the hood and the doors. An inspector checks the gaps around the hood looks for dents and dings in the body, and makes sure the doors are flush with the side panels. He marks any areas that need repair or adjustment with removable ink. The engines arrive at the plant already assembled. Workers just have to install and adjust a few components. Meanwhile, the van is off at the paint shop and then goes to the trim shop for glass, handles and interior components. In the chassis department, the engine, transmission, rear suspension and brake assembly are installed from underneath. This part of the assembly line has two tiers. The van goes on top, the components on the bottom. The machines that install the components have long pins that fit into holes in the van's underbody. This positions the components with precision. Workers hook up the gas tank manually. The seats arrive ready-made from a nearby factory. They simply clamp into place in the seat pockets that were welded onto the ladder assembly earlier. An automated machine mates the tire to the wheel rim. Then it inflates and balances the tire. Workers mount the tires, starting the nuts by hand, then tightening them with tools. Now the van comes off the carrier and goes full weight on its wheels for the first time. Workers start up the ignition and run the van through a series of tests. It's taken the plant about 24 hours to produce this vehicle, which will soon be on its way to a car dealership. <laughs>